Three, two, one. Boosters and ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about the NASA's Artemis One moon mission. Now recently, Artemis One was successfully launched from the Kennedy Space Center on the 16th November 2022. So let us discuss a bit about the Artemis program. The Artemis program is a robotic and human moon exploration program. The program's long-term goal is to establish a permanent base camp on the moon and facilitate human missions to Mars. If successful, the Artemis program will re-establish a human presence on the moon for the first time since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. Now, this program is led by the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA. The three partner agencies are the European Space Agency, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency and Canadian Space Agency. The major components of the program are Space Launch System, Orion Spacecraft, Lunar Gateway Space Station and Commercial Human Landing Systems including the Starship HLS. If we talk about the list of Artemis mission, the Artemis 1 mission was launched on the 16th November 2022. According to the plan, the crewed Artemis 2 launch will take place in 2024, the Artemis 3 crewed lunar landing in 2025, the Artemis 4 docking with the lunar gateway in 2027 and the future yearly landings on the moon thereafter. Now let us take an overview of the Artemis 1 mission. Artemis 1 is an ongoing uncrewed moon orbiting mission, the first space flight in NASA's Artemis program. It is the first integrated flight test of Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket. Its main objective is to test the Orion spacecraft, especially its heat shield, to be used in subsequent Artemis missions that seek to re-establish human presence on the moon and pursue scientific studies. The mission lifted off from Launch Complex 39B at the Kennedy Space Center abroad and the Space Launch System rocket. Talking about the mission timeline of Artemis 1 program, the Orion spacecraft has been launched on a mission of between 26 and 42 days with at least six of those days in a distant retrograde orbit around the moon. After reaching Earth's orbit and performing a translunar injection, the mission will deploy 10 CubeSat satellites. The Orion spacecraft will later enter a distant retrograde orbit for six days. The Orion spacecraft will then return and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere with the protection of its heat shield and splash down in the Pacific Ocean. Now let us discuss a bit about the significance of the Artemis program. Since the Apollo missions 50 years ago, there has been massive progress in the space exploration. Spacecraft have travelled beyond the solar system and exploratory missions have probed Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. More than 500 astronauts have travelled to space and back and permanent space labs like the International Space Station and China's Tiangong Space Station have been set up. However, there are several unfulfilled promises including the possibility of landing and living on other planets and perhaps encountering alien life forms in deep space. It is these promises that the new age of space exploration seeks to fulfil. The Artemis mission will build on the existing achievements of space technologies over the past few decades and lay the foundations for more complex and ambitious missions in the future. It will work towards extracting the resources found on the moon, built from the materials available there and harness hydrogen or helium as energy source. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to NASA's Artemis program. First, if successful, the Artemis program will re-establish a human presence on the moon for the first time since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. Second, under this program, the Artemis 1 is the first integrated flight test of Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So as we know, both of the statements are correct relating to the NASA's Artemis program. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. That is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. You can also check out the Daily Current Affairs section on our website for further details. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.